urgent update for all cryptocurrency investors out there right now we are seeing a specific pattern the same pattern i've been talking about for the last few days and how this was potentially going to play out well we are just missing the final part of this pattern which is a parabolic move towards the upside guys today i am going to show you this is history going to repeat because every time we have seen this pattern play out previously as you can see we have had massive pumps towards upside today i'm gonna talk about that i am going to talk about what i see happening for bitcoin and ethereum next i am going to talk about some big breakthroughs on the old coins that we are watching as well guys so make sure to watch this video from the beginning until the end it will not be a long video but it will be jam-packed with a lot of very important information Welcome back everybody, my name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. So let's get straight into it guys, and look at this. This is something that we have been talking about on the channel for the last four or five days, how every single time when we have had a parabolic move or a big pump for Bitcoin recently, it has followed the same pattern. So let me bring out this tweet. Um, so the pattern that it has been following is consolidation, a uh, consolidation I should say above my orange line, then a drop below the orange line and then a big pump. And then we consolidate once again at the orange line, we have a drop below the orange line and then a day after we do have a big pop. And then you can see right here, consolidation at the orange line. We come down below it, and then we have a parabolic move towards the upside. And we have had this consolidation now for quite a while. We have had the drop for Bitcoin. And the question is, are we now going to repeat the same pattern that we have on a perfect basis been uh, repeating the last three times before this massive pop towards the upside let me know down in the comment section but it's looking likely that bitcoin could have another big pop here that it is potentially time for bitcoin to have a decent pop towards like 50 2800 53200 potentially so uh, so let's see about that if you look at the previous uh, pops we have had we have in this instance from the previous close we went up to um, 2.2% above the previous consolidation. On this one, we went up 4% above the previous consolidation. And uh, do we have any more? Yeah, okay, so this one. Here, we went up, well, 6% above the previous consolidation. So even if we go up, let's take an average of like 3 4%, if we go up 3 4% above this consolidation, that would take us to about, let's say, it's going to take us up to... You know, 53, 54 definitely would be a conservative estimation. But also this orange line right here, which is the next level of resistance, $55,000. So I am expecting us to sooner rather than later reach $55,000. So let's see when that is going to happen. But things are looking really, really good for Bitcoin still. Now, when it comes to the traditional markets, obviously they are closed today. They're actually closed tomorrow as well. So we are not gonna get any help from the traditional markets at this point. So on two, well, actually on Monday night, the futures markets opens up and that can have an effect on the Bitcoin price as well. So that could be a catalyst for us to go up to that $55,000 level. Now for Ethereum, you can see that after hitting my resistance up here, we had the pullback. Ethereum is now starting to slowly come back up and retest this one. And in fact, when it comes to altcoins, Many of the altcoins are having similar setups. So if you look at Beam, you can see that after the massive uh, hack, not for Beam, but there was uh, specific users who uh, had their Ethereum wallets hacked because they were clicking some links that were suspicious or whatever it may be. Anyway, their wallets got drained. So the hackers sold all of their Ethereum, they sold all of their whatever coins they had, and some of these people that were drained had big bags of Beam. So Beam took a little bit of a hit here, Beam was looking really, really good. Uh, but once again, now we are approaching this key level of resistance at three cents for Beam. So that is gonna be very interesting to see if we can break and uh, stay above this point. Obviously with the Forgotten Playlands uh, launch coming up on in a few days only, um, that, 
think uh, I think is going to do really, really well. And when that does well, it is going to translate into some bullish action for Beam as well. So Beam, I think, is in a very good uh, uh, stage right now. I do think that, yeah, Beam could have a little bit of a pop towards at 3.6 cents here, which would be a juicy and nice from this point, 25% gain. So let's keep our eyes on that. Also for Koti, guys, you can see that Koti is right now approaching a key level of resistance. Now, when I talked about Koki, Koti, um, we were somewhere around here, and I said that we were approaching this point, and then came the drop for Bitcoin. So altcoins obviously had a drop here, and now uh, Koti is trying to break through this. If we can break through this, guys, I do anticipate a nice little pop up towards 11.7 um, cents, which would be like 17% for Koti. So let's keep our eyes on that as well. Before Bitcoin in general, guys, things are looking really, really bullish. Now, one thing uh, is that the amount of addresses for Bitcoin, typically when you see Bitcoin go up, you see more addresses uh, joining. So what this author is saying is that uh, this trend upwards lacks retail participation. So maybe there's a lot of people left to come back into the market. And yes, there's a lot of retail people that are still sidelines. They are going to get into uh, Bitcoin and crypto eventually. But this is a little bit misleading, of course, because we have the ETFs right now. So ETFs counts as basically one custodian. So the addresses from people buying Bitcoin through the ETF is not going to be visible here. Uh, where previously in the cycles, like five years ago, seven years ago, or even last cycle, people would... Um, most likely buy Bitcoin themselves on their own wallets, right? So that's a big difference right now that we have the ETFs that are accumulating all of this Bitcoin for the um, retail participants here. But speaking about the ETF, look at this. It's absolutely insane, guys. 10 Bitcoin ETFs netted $2.3 billion last week in net. That means like even though Grayscale were selling a lot of Bitcoin, it's net $2.3 billion. For context... That is more than any other ETF out of 3,400 ETFs available. It's more than they took in. iBit alone, which is Grayscale's, no, sorry, it's a BlackRock's ETF, alone was number two in terms of inflows for all of the ETFs in the world. So, yeah, and this is going to get, I mean, I'm not going to say that it's going to get more and more because you're seeing crazy inflows right now. I mean, imagine getting like, 2.5 billion dollars in net inflows every week uh, that is absolutely insane that's like a what is it, like 100 more than 100 billion dollars in a year if it continues at this pace so it's unrealistic to think that it's going to continue at this pace but still bitcoin is going to see massive inflows continuously as uh, also more and more financial advisors starts to promote bitcoin and um, yeah that is absolutely fantastic now guys if you want to um, get the best trading bonuses available out there, go down to the description of this video. You have up to $60,000 on OKX. Click on this link right here. And then you have uh, BitGet up to 8400 right here as well. So guys, there will be a big update in regards to my trading strategies coming as well. It's just I'm trying to find the time. I will try to get it to you as soon as possible. But for everyone that are using my trading strategies, you're obviously making insane profits still. So that's absolutely fantastic. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I will see you in the next one.